Should you buy or sell a four bedroom unit in Queenstown area? Hi everyone, this is Kenny from Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects across Singapore. If you're the owner of a four-bedroom unit in Sterling Residences, you must be wondering if it's a good time to sell or keep your unit. Today, I'll be sharing my analysis with you and if you're someone looking to purchase a four-bedroom unit in Sterling Residences, watch till the end of this video. Sterling Residences is a 99 years leasehold project located in Queenstown area with a total of 1,259 units. As of today, Sterling Residences is slated to TOP in October 2022 the two key factors that we look out for is number one, supply and demand, and number two, consumer behavior. If you are familiar with the Queenstown area, there are two comparable projects nearby, namely Commonwealth Towers and Queen's Peak. First, let's run through Commonwealth Towers. TOP in 2017, 99 years lease sold with 845 units, saw three profitable transactions with the highest profit at $360,000. Next, we have Queen's Peak, TOP in 2020, 99 years lease sold with 736 units saw three profitable transactions with the highest profit at $341,000. First, let's talk about the supply. The current supply we have is Commonwealth Towers with 38 4 bedroom units and Queen's Peak with 48 4 bedroom units. With the upcoming supply of Sterling Residences 76 4 bedroom units, I am quite certain that it will disrupt the price of the older projects, especially 4 bedrooms in Commonwealth Towers. If you compare the floor plans, Sterling Residences has a junior master with its dedicated bathroom, a dry kitchen, and a larger storeroom. Queen's Peak has a private lift and a dedicated family area. Commonwealth Towers, on the other hand, has wasted corridor space at the foyer area, making it less desirable for potential buyers. Next, we'll talk about the second factor, consumer behavior. Looking back at the transactions in 2021, Sterling Residences sold off their last 4 bedroom at $2.648 million. Just 2 months later, Queen's Peak's 4 bedroom was sold around the same price at $2.62 million and subsequently with the highest at $2.981 million in early February this year. And despite Commonwealth Towers unit being sold at a period without competition, the average transacted price is around $2.4 million, which is way below the Sterling Residences and Queen's Peak's range. This clearly shows us that buyers in this area prefer newer projects and are willing to pay between $2.4 million to $3 million for a 4-bedroom unit. For owners who bought Sterling Residences 4-bedroom unit, you may want to sell it early given the good market conditions and brand new status now. Owners who wish to stay and hold can do so, but if you refer to the URA map as of today, there are various plots of land in the area zone residential but subjected to detail planning. So do keep a lookout for upcoming new launches in the future and whether they provide 4 bedroom units as it will disrupt the limited supply in this area. For buyers looking to purchase Sterling Residences 4 bedroom unit, do be careful and not overpay in such market situations. You may refer to my video on how to get discounts for resale if you have not watched it. But good news is, given the limited supply in this area, resale units might be able to sell with profits in the future. That's all for my studying residences 4 bedroom analysis. If you need a thorough analysis like how I did for my other clients, do drop me a message. And if you find my videos insightful, do smash the like and subscribe button. Once again, I'm Kenny and I'll see you soon.